Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with something completely different. Uh, I am not doing a wig review today for you. Today I'm actually going to be doing some tips and tricks on how to make sure that you keep your wig on all day and completely secure to where you don't have to worry about it at all. So if you like videos like this and want to see more, please make sure you hit that like button as well as make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And of course there is, if you want to be notified, a bell icon below as well that you can click on to be able to be notified anytime that I post a video. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that I do when I am looking to secure my wigs um, is I wear a wig grip. Uh, a wig grip that I wear Let me go ahead and put her up real quick. The wig grip that I wear is from a company called, uh, I'm going to murder the name, I still don't know how to correctly pronounce this, Baugi, B-E-A-U-G-E-E. -E -E. Baugi, Bungie, Boji, something. You see it here. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. Um, wig grips so the way that they function is they're meant to be wrapped around your head as you saw it on me a second ago and as long as you're putting it on the right way and the right way is how i had it on where this label is facing the correct way up if you're looking at me so like this this is how you want the label to look when you have it on the reason for that is that it has this velvet material that is purposefully sewn in in a certain direction on both sides. On the back, it's sewn in going this direction so that when it's on your head, when it's on your head, it doesn't slide off your head. As you push it, it's not going to slide. Um, in this direction, it's, it's sewn this direction here so that when your wig is on, you're getting like this counter friction and that's how your wig stays on. It's not gonna slide off your head that way. So it's very important that you have your wig grip on correctly. If you have it on inside out, or if you have it upside down, this is upside down. That feels weird, put it on. If you have it upside down, look at it, it just slides right off. Like it's right off my head. So if your wig grip is sliding off, you might have it on upside down. So what I do before I put on my wig grip as I prep my bio hair. So skip this step if you don't have any bio hair, but if you do, there's a certain way I prep my bio hair to make sure that my wigs are gonna stay on securely. Let's talk about anatomy. So I'm gonna put a picture up here of a head for an occipital bone. Some of us have flatter heads than others. If you are blessed to have a nice round head, then you probably don't have a problem with your wig sliding up in the back. But if you do have a flatter head like I do, then your wigs will actually ride straight up in the back if you have your hair secured in the wrong place. Some people put their hair up here, and when you do that, if you have a flat head, your wig's just gonna ride right up. If you take your hair instead and you put it in a low ponytail or a low, what I like to call long bun, then you can keep your wig secured and also have your, your hair hidden relatively well. So I'm gonna turn around to show you what I mean by long bun. So what I do here is I take my uh, scrunchie and I pull it almost all the way through to the end like I'm gonna make a ponytail, but instead, if I do it right, <laughs> but instead I stop and then turn it into a bun. But my bun isn't a little bun, it's a wide, long bun. And the reason why I want it to be that way is so I can tuck it underneath my wigs to make a more flat appearance back here. However, this part here is sufficient enough with the wig grip to keep your wigs from riding up in the back, up through the top of your head. So that's the first step I take. Then I secure my wig grip. When you put your wig grip on, don't put it here. Don't put it right on your hairline. Start just a little further back from your hairline. And the reason for that is if you have it too far forward, you might find that your lace fronts are starting to lift a little bit. You want your lace to lay flat on your, on your forehead here. So if you have this too far forward, it's gonna be propping it up and that will have your, your lace lift. So just push your wig grip back a little bit. If you have it on the correct way, it's not going to slide. 
Okay, so from here, the next thing that I use, if I really want to make sure that my wig is staying secure all day, um, I don't do this every day. So most of the time I'm just wearing a wig grip, especially if my wig has bangs and no lace front. But if I have a lace front and I'm wanting to kind of pull it back away from my face and that lace is gonna be exposed, then I use Walker's Lace Front Wig Tape. This one's blue. They also make a red version. The red version is not for lace fronts. So make sure you get the blue one from Amazon is where I got this one. I'll have the link in the description as well. What this does is a double-sided tape that allows you to be able to take your lace fronts and stick them to your head. Word of caution, if you are wearing makeup where you want to adhere it, I definitely recommend removing that makeup or maybe putting on your wig first before you put your makeup on. You want this to be adhered to clean, dry skin. So as you guys can see, I have turned my wig halfway inside out. That way I have this all exposed for me to tape my uh, lace tape to. The first thing you're gonna notice that might be a little bit different than yours is that I have this notch cut into my lace. The reason for that is I have a widow's peak and I have to make sure that my lace is lined up directly with that widow's peak or else my forehead will be too small. So I literally cut this little tiny notch in my lace to make sure that I always know where to line this up on my scalp. That also helps me to apply my tape a little bit easier. So just take a little bit off. I take about that much. and I apply it to either side of my little notch here where I do not have hair on that particular part of my hairline. When I put it on, I wanna get it as close to the edge of the lace front as possible, but I do wanna leave just this tiny little ridge right there. I don't wanna get it right up on the edge. Uh, that particular part of the edge of your lace is quite fragile and you don't want to be tugging on that. Get my second piece here. Oops. This one's a little bit longer, not a big deal, but and it's a little bit longer. And I just put that on the other side of my little notch that I placed here. Now, because I did get this a little bit longer, I might run into the issue of some of this getting into my bio hair. If that happens, it's not that big of a deal. You can get the leave it alone all day and then use your adhesive remover later to remove it. So after you've gotten this applied, you're going to simply peel off this backing. Now if the, if the tape wants to start peeling off with it, what you're gonna do is press really firmly here on your tape and then start to peel it back and it'll start coming off by itself. As you can see, this paper is being removed and the tape is left behind. Press firmly, peel it back and it starts to come apart all by itself. All right, once you've got this, you're ready to apply it. So I'll meet you back up top. So now that we have our tape secured on the lace front, we're ready to go ahead and apply. When you're doing this, make sure you're very careful not to get any of the hair in the tape, or else you're gonna have to peel that back one by one and that's not any fun. So let me go ahead and put this on for you. And see, I'm just going to tuck in my little bun here in, her, in the wig and stretch this over my wig grip. You do have a window of time where you can adjust this and not have to worry about the tape getting stuck in a permanent fashion. So go ahead and adjust it where you need it to be. Because I have my notch, that's relatively easy for me to just go by my notch. And then once I get it where I want it to be, I'm gonna start in the center and press out. Like that. Press it nice and flat. All right, now that I have that on, that's usually where I stop. Um, I'm not really worried about this thing coming off my head at all. And especially when the hair is down like this, you really can't see the lace front. You can't see any tape. It just looks like my hair. At least I hope it does. It does to me. So if you can, you can still see my lace, let me know in the comments, but I can't see it. At least not in my mirror. 
However, if I was going to take my hair and put it in, let's say a little poof on top of my head, My lace front might start lifting just a little bit and I'm going to show you guys how to get, fix that. So first, let's get all of this hair out so you guys can really see that lace. I wear my hair like this a lot, especially if I'm going to go to eat um, because now there's nothing in my face. <laughs> so uh, if you have lace fronts, you can do this, but you're going to need one other thing. Because I cut a notch, let's see if you can see it. Because I cut a notch for my widow's peak here, you can see that the lace is starting to lift just the tiniest of bits. See that comb? You can fix that though with hair gel. This has got to be glued in the blue. I'm blue? Okay, sorry, I don't know colors. Got to be, got to be glued in the yellow container. Um, this is the styling spiking glue. It does come in both the yellow kind and the black kind. I actually prefer the black kind. I don't have it right now um, because it dries completely clear. So I recommend the black one, get the black one. But I have yellow for now, so we'll use it. For things that are just lifting just the tiniest of bits and you just need to fix a little tiny part, I'm not gonna try to go in and put another piece of wig tape. I'm gonna use something like this. Now, if you're not like me and you don't have a widow's peak, you could just take a piece, one piece of tape and stretch it all the way across and then you don't have this problem I have. Um, and completely ignore that <laughs> if it's not happening to you. But if you do have this little tiny piece that's lifting, just grab a little bit of got to be glued, put it on the end of your comb here and stick it right in where it's starting to lift, like that. Then you're gonna push it down until it dries. So I just came back uh, from charging my battery. The battery died on me in the middle. So um, this has actually been drying. I left my hair on and everything on for you guys, even my eyelashes. Um, I left everything on so I could show you exactly what it looks like when it does dry. So uh, as you can see where this was lifting before, this is now completely uh, flush. It's not going to start lifting off. Um, and I can move this around like it's not gonna, it's not gonna come off anywhere. Between the wig tape, which is doing the majority of it, this is this is what's holding the majority of the hair on. Uh, this is just holding things down for this tiny little bit that was lifting here. Uh, but this guy's hanging on to it, and then underneath, most of the support is coming from the wig grip underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and I wanna show you guys how easy it is for you to remove these uh, and how you're gonna make sure that you don't hurt any of your bio hair from doing this. So uh, the first thing that you're going to need uh, is some kind of remover. So you've got either like a John, Re John Renault uh, adhesive remover or you could use what I use, which is just plain isopropyl al alcohol. Uh, this is the 91%. I just find this to be much more cost effective and it <laughs> it's like 70 cents in comparison to the other products. So this works just fine. The other thing you're gonna need are uh, Q-tips. So be very careful when you're doing this if you are using alcohol not to drop your Q-tips inside. Uh, I unfortunately do have a couple of floaters down there. So rest in peace, Q-tips. So go ahead and get your Q-tip soaked with some alcohol. And what you're gonna do is you are going to start at the end where it is exposed and just kind of set it in there. And honestly, I leave it in there for just a second and that's really working on some of the adhesive. And then just start going in and out. And what I like to do also is to take my Q-tip and roll it. So in and out to start, and then I start to roll it across. Um, if you start to feel any type of resistance, you might have some hair in there. So be very careful and uh, don't rip your hair. Just lift this a little bit, start again until you feel that resistance 
and just slowly start to go across. This is, it'll be really stuck when you, when you've had it on for a while, like I've had it on for like three hours while the battery was charging. Um, it'll start to get really stuck. So this will just be patient. It's going to take a little bit of time. Then I like to get up back in here because this is, if you can see the Q-tip in there to make sure I'm not getting in my bio hair. You can see these dark brown strands. That's my hair. There you go. That got stuck. And I'm just being very careful to make sure I'm not ripping any of my hair. So because this piece that I put on was a little bit bigger, it did get some of my bio hair. It's not a big deal. Nothing's going to get ripped out. So I am completely removed from this piece. I'm going to start on the other side. Just get more alcohol as you need it. It's a little bit harder to do this looking at a viewfinder of a camera. <laughs> and just very carefully work your way through until it completely releases. I'm completely released now, so I'll back, back up again and take it off. So it's as easy as that. As you can tell, I didn't lose any bio hair. I mean, let, let's be real. I don't have a lot to begin with right there, um, but the tape is still attached to this, so we need to take this off. So here is the tape that needs to be removed, and I also want to call your attention to just this little white spot right here. This is what I was talking to you about with the uh, got to be glued gel. It does dry white. Now you couldn't see that when it's on my head, but once you take it off, you can start to see that. Um, so you have to make sure to remove that as well. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get a little bit more of your alcohol and your cotton swab. And the first thing I do is I start first off to just start putting some of that alcohol all over the tape. So now that you've got that off, you're just going to start on one end. Yeah, I'm going to have to use water to get that off. Um, you're just going to start at one end here and start to lift up the corner. Okay, now that you've started it, you're simply going to hold on to one side of the tape and just go back and forth with the alcohol, you need quite a good amount on your Q-tip. Just go back and forth with the alcohol like this, and that's going to release that adhesive. I'm not tugging on the lace, I'm not tugging on the tape, I'm just applying a little bit of pressure to the tape as the alcohol is removing the adhesive. All right, hopefully you can still see it. This is a very large piece. I don't usually use this much tape. This is the one I accidentally got too much on it. Okay, so there's your adhesive. And there you go. So both adhesives are off. As you can see, there's no damage to the lace front at all. Uh, this little piece here, right on the front, that's a little frayed that's been there. Oops, sorry. This little piece on the front that's a little frayed, it's been there for a while. Um, that happened whenever I cut the notch in there. But there's no damage to any of this lace. The alcohol didn't hurt the hair at all. Um, the lace front is perfectly fine. It's just this little bit of white that's left over here from the got to be glued. That'll come off with water. Okay guys, so uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you found it helpful. Um, again, these are just my opinions. This is what I do. This is what I found works the best. Uh, I did this for my wedding and I had absolutely no problems. Uh, it was, I was super sweaty. It was Florida. First off, I got married at Flor in Florida. We went outside for our photos and we were out there for probably a good 45 minutes to an hour uh, posing and doing different photos. At no time did my wig budge at all. 
Um, I was sweating. So that walker's, this walker's table will be just fine through sweat. I've heard of plenty of other people that use it when they actually go swimming and they keep their wigs on. So I think you're perfectly fine. It's not really water soluble. It does require something to actually dissolve the uh, adhesive like alcohol. So you're fine. This, however, will dissolve in water. This does start to get slippery whenever it gets wet from your sweat. So just be aware they are better for different things. Um, there's also other glues out there. It Stays is one that people like a lot. I've never used it. Again, I find that the tape works the best for me and then the hair gel in a pinch. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, I will do my best to answer them. If you have any other questions about other topics for wigs that you have questions on, please drop those to me as well. If you have any ideas for a video you would like to see uh, in particular, please let me know. I do have a couple other videos coming up. One is how to steam a wig, how to wash a wig, how to use fabric softener on a wig, um, uh, as well as how to make a wig cap smaller. So I do a few more things in the works. Uh, so just stay tuned, uh, hang tight, and remember to subscribe below and to hit that bell icon and that'll make sure to let you know every time I post a video. So as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, beautiful, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it.